You're watching TV Bay. Okay, we're going to read Jack and the Beanstalk from the book My Fantastic Fairy Tale, illustrated by Emanuela Manello. There once was a boy named Jack who lived with his mother. They were very poor. One day, there was no food left for them to eat. You must go to the market and sell our cow, said Jack's mother. Jack was upset, but he did as his mother asked. On the way to the market, Jack met a mysterious man. I'll give you these magic beans in exchange for your cow, he said. Jack handed over the cow at once, thinking that magic beans sounded very exciting indeed. But when he showed his mother, she was furious with him. You sold our cow for a handful of beans? cried Jack's mother. Then she threw the beans out of the window and sent Jack to bed. When he woke up in the morning, Jack couldn't believe his eyes. A huge beanstalk had grown in the garden. The beans were magic after all. Jack couldn't resist climbing up the magic beanstalk. He climbed until he was so high up that he found himself in an enchanted kingdom above the clouds. In front of him was a huge castle with glittering gold doors. Jack had just crept inside when he heard thumping footsteps. Jack hid as he watched an enormous giant sit down and start counting golden coins onto the table. Suddenly, the giant sniffed the air and blowed. Fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. The giant searched everywhere for Jack, but eventually he gave up and fell asleep. Then Jack climbed onto the table, took one of the bags of money, and rushed back to the beanstalk. Where have you been? cried Jack's mother when he returned home. So he showed her the coins and she was overjoyed. Soon, their riches were gone, so Jack climbed the beanstalk again. He saw a beautiful hen on the giant's table, but he heard the giant's cry once more. fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack hid and watched as the giant started to play a little golden harp. Suddenly, the hen laid an egg of pure gold. Wow, whispered Jack. He tucked the hen under his arm as soon as the giant was asleep, then tiptoed out of the castle and back towards the magic beanstalk. At home, Jack tried to make the hen lay a golden egg, but it just clucked sadly. We need the golden harp, said Jack. So he climbed the beanstalk one last time and found the harp in one of the giant's cupboards. Then Jack heard him blowing once more. Fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Before the giant could catch him, Jack grabbed the harp and ran the, to the beanstalk. But the magical harp cried out, Master, I'm being stolen! Then giant jumped onto the beanstalk and began climbing down, making it swish and sway. When Jack reached the bottom, he fetched an axe. He chopped up the beanstalk until it toppled down, bringing the mighty giant crashing to the ground once and for all. At last, Jack played the magic harp to the hen and it laid its golden eggs. Jack and his mother were never poor again and they lived happily ever after. The end. For more learning videos, hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell button to get updates on newly uploaded videos.